The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds whether big, small, established or startup impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a Leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress, and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds, whether big, small, established, or startup, impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, YouTube, iTunes, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Mike brings you great guests and interesting people from all across the globe. So sit back, relax, and enjoy another great episode of the Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Widener Show. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable, custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the Mike Show.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash The Mike Widener Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, over 25 podcast platforms. Take The Mike Widener Show on any mobile device. Subscribe to The Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Also follow The Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with a wonderful uh, singer from Albany, New York. He's got um, an album called VP, which uh, features a few um, hit singles as well too we'll be playing one of those in um later on the show he's got a unique style of pop funk and trap so we're going to um talk more about that he's got a degree in biochemistry and he just loves to make things happen when it comes to music and of course his father fronts a classic rock band and more and live ladies and gentlemen from beautiful new york state ladies and gentlemen from the plus studios in new york state vince palmieri vince good morning good afternoon good evening thanks for joining us today 
Thanks for having me, Mike. Happy to be here. Well, we're happy to have you on as well, too. So you're out of Albany, New York, and you've got a new album called VP, which is featuring Infatuation, which we'll play uh, later on the show. You also have My One, The Rush, and you have a really unique style of pop funk and trap you also got a degree in biochemistry and of course a really interesting story about that your father fronts a classic rock band and before we get into all that uh, tell us how you got first got started well i say i've been kind of <clears throat> kind of been singing all my life and um it's always just been something i really did and was passionate about from when i was a young kid and um i kind of just took it with me and you know over the course of my teenage years started teaching myself guitar figuring out how to write songs trial and error that kind of thing and um after i moved up to albany and got a job at a pharmaceutical company i kind of was just like you know this is this is good and all but um i really want to go after my dream and you know what my dream was was to be a singer a songwriter so i kind of walked into a studio one day with some songs and uh yeah the rest is history now we're here yeah, that's amazing as well, too. And what was that one precise moment that influenced you in what you're doing today? Um, That one moment, I'd say, probably was uh, a time I was playing out with my dad's band uh, during summer break. And I was just I was doing a couple covers in a bar with him. And um, I was just really I don't know, I was really feeling it that night. I was I was really on and uh, people really just reacted so well in a way that I'd never seen before. And I just kind of brought the house down in the bar. And, you know, there's probably like 30 people in there. But um, the way people reacted to it was like, you you really got something here. You should go after this. And that's kind of what just sparked me into giving it a shot. <clears throat> oh, that's amazing, too. It's like, you know, performing like that in the bar. Did they buy you drinks afterwards or something or what? <laughs> yeah, it was, you know, it was that kind of thing. It was a neighborhood bar. It was a lot of people I knew. Um, and then, you know, a lot of strangers, too. So, I, you know. It was just a great, great night from what I remember, and uh, that was probably a defining moment for me in terms of going after what, you know, what my passion is and what I want. I was just going to ask you that as well, too, but you hit the nail right on the head, and who are some of your other favorite artists, singers, and musicians growing up? <laughs> um, so growing up, I listened to a lot of, like, classic stuff, like a lot of 80s and 90s. Um, I really love Chicago, Rolling Stones, <clears throat> um, Eagles. Michael Jackson, obviously. Um, and then, you know, some newer influences of my own are probably like people, you know, huge pop songwriter producers like Max Martin, um, people like Justin Timberlake, Maroon 5, Bruno Mars, um, Katy Perry, people like that. Just like those, you know, really, really huge names that kind of defined the last decade of pop is where I draw a lot of my current inspiration from. Mm -hmm. and, and of course this all get, goes into uh, your album as well too we'll talk about it in just a minute but first listen to the Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com powered by Sonic Web Studios visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs look at a professional website without break your budget Sonic Web Studios is the answer Sonic Web Studios offers fast affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away call today at 1-800-303-3960 that's 1-800-303-3960 or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com Mention the Mike Widener Show, get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, and more. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Also follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here as singer, songwriter, multi-talented music musician Vince Palmieri here on the Mike Widener show from Albany, New York. He's got a new album out called VP and it's featuring infatuation. My one and the rush. He's got a degree in biochemistry. And um, before we, um, you know, get into uh, some of your songs as well too. And um, you have a really unique um, sound of pop funk and trap. You can just uh, tell us all about that, especially the trap part. Yeah. Well, um, for my first album, I was kind of, um, you know, that came out over a year ago at this point, and that was kind of me trying to just figure out my sound, figure out what was really going to work for me, what felt the most authentic to me. So there was a lot of different stuff on that album stylistically, and that's kind of why it was branded as more of like a, you know, there's some trap influences, there's some funk influences on there, you know, there's just some pure, straightforward radio pop songs like The Rush. Um, 
But I think ultimately, when I wrote that album, um, it was kind of just me throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks. <laughs> and towards the end of that album is when I wrote The Rush. Um, it was probably one of the last songs I think I wrote for the album. And I was like, this is this is definitely the single, you know? So I put this, that out ahead of the album um because i just felt like it kind of defined me at, at the time that it was it, it was and um it, it served me well for what that song was and it really gave me a platform to to elevate myself to the next level and um yeah it was just a special song for me i wrote it with my friends who were in my band with me rob and dylan um you know it's my friend rob playing guitar dylan on the bass there and um it was just like a really great great moment to kind of collaborate and come together for something and see such a positive impact from it in our community. Mm -hmm. and, and of course, The Rush sounds like a really big single as well, too. And, and of course, My One as well. And uh, tell us more about that. Um, yeah, so My One was a song I actually wrote over just a beat that I got from a producer. And it just felt like, you know, it felt like a good like track two for the album. And I think that's where I put it. But it just felt like a you know a kind of let loose feel good summer um song it's light it's funky it's got some you know rhythm to it and uh yeah it was, it's kind of just a song about finding your one person and uh being down for that person mm. and what do you base your lyrics on i base all my stuff on um real real experiences so you know i mean i, I i'm sure all singers say that but i really do try to put a little bit of my truth in in everything i write you know whether it's a loose connotation to my life or straight straightforward um this is what's happening you know i try to really connect with the song and find a way for the lyrics to connect back to me and um you know hopefully other people too because that's my ultimate goal when i'm writing songs is that is that people connect with it you know mm -hmm. um so yeah, up until this point, I've I've written all my songs. Um, I haven't really done much with co-writing. I co-wrote my latest single, which is called Guilty Pleasure. I co-wrote that with um, a guy named Theory, who's a fantastic producer and, and writer as well. But um, I'm not opposed to it by any means. It, in fact, I'm looking to get more into co-writing with you know a lot more folks in the industry because uh, there's there's no egos here. Is the way I'll put it, I'm not the end all be all of songwriting. So I would. You know, always, always love to collaborate with more people mm -hmm. in the future. And I think that's a really good start as well, too. We'll uh, play your song Infatuation in just a minute. But first, listen to The Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable, custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention The Mike Widener Show. Get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, The Mike Widener Show can be heard on the themikewidenershow.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash themikewidenershow. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, and more. Take The Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to The Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Also, follow The Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with... Um, Singer, songwriter, multi talented Vince Palmieri out of Albany, New York, here on the Mike Wagner Show. Right now, here is Infatuation from his latest release, VP. Here's Infatuation from Vince Palmieri right here on the Mike Wagner Show. Let's go. Hold up, my man. Car. Oh, the car. Yeah, I got a car. Uh, let me see, car. No, I. Oh, yo, it's, I know Vince, actually. Yo, my boy. What's... Yo. We should be roommates. Come bring your body real close to me. Let's take it all the way. Feel how the rhythm just sets you free Some things you can't explain My mind's getting hazy I'm thinking maybe Yeah, that you're leaving me tonight Tonight Don't slow it down Cause I never felt so alive Need you around Take me to your paradise Come dangerously Find it for you, baby Don't know how Baby, this is pure infatuation Last time I'm low when the heat is up I 
That's Vince Palmieri with Infatuation here on the Mike Wagner Show. Vince, tell us more about that song and what inspired you to write it. Um, well, Infatuation came about right after I got um, signed to a management deal here in Albany, and um, I put out my first music video for The Rush, and um, I was coming right off of you know releasing my album, and I was like, I need a really just you know, banging comeback single that's going to really get people going and it's going to make people talk. And uh, I wanted to do a dance club song because that's kind of what I felt like my album was missing. You know, I felt like there was a lot of good stuff on there, but there was really nothing that was just a certified uh, banger, you know? So I got connected with Theory and Simona, who's a phenomenal producer, uh, engineer out in Italy, and um, I sent him a demo for that song that I recorded last summer. And I was like, look, here's the demo. Um, it's not great. Can we make it great? You know? And they redid the entire beat. They did a whole new instrumental. They reproduced my vocals. And, uh, yeah, I put it out back in November. And uh, I, also, I shot the video uh, with Cameron Gallagher as well, who's another local guy. And he's phenomenal i'm actually shooting the video with him saturday so wow that's amazing and of course yeah. you know checking out the song and the video as well too that was fantastic and i have to say that i okay. loved it yeah and of course you know when i saw that i thought it was gonna be like a rod stewart sound like but i mean you just took infatuation to a whole new level that was amazing oh thank you yeah you know i try to be unique and authentic and everything i do so appreciate mm -hmm. it. <laughs> and, and of course you know speaking of being authentic unique and um just trying everything as well too what can we expect from you f in 2020 and beyond um so 2020 i've been kind of laying low for the first half of the year i put out uh a single called complicated back in february with a video which is you know just a it was a breakup song it was kind of just something to get you through the winter mm -hmm. um i put out guilty pleasure last uh, month actually but i'm actually gearing up now to release a song every month now for pretty much the rest of 2020 and i've been taking this time in quarantine to write to record a lot of quality stuff and uh i feel like i'm really you know about to put out my best material in the coming months so it's exciting to finally be in a place where i'm geared up i'm ready to go i've got everything set it's just a matter of uh rolling it out and figuring out how to do that mm -hmm. so. and, and it's a matter of time as well too it sounds like you got of um great works coming ahead and look forward to having on soon in 2020 and keep us up to date and just a few more things with vince palmary here on the mike wagner show who do you consider biggest influence in your career 
Biggest influence. Um, I probably have to say Max Martin. He's uh he's one of the guys behind all the pop acts you see on radio today. He writes, he produces, um, he you know, he gives artists a brand, he gives them, you know, a way to get out there because he's such a phenomenal songwriter and he really um gets people in the door. You know, he's he's wrote he's written breakout hits for, for so so many people. So um I just really look up to him as a writer and what he does and how he's able to just, um, you know, keep producing hit after hit after hit. And he's certainly a major inspiration of mine. And it sounds amazing as well, too. And what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? At this point, um, in terms of like uh, an aspiring musician or uh, just anyone in general. It, it, it can be an aspiring musician. It can be anyone. It can be writing. It can be anything. I'd say, um, you know, whether it be a music career or whatever kind of career, you want to be a doctor, you want to be whatever the hell you want to be, um, I think all I would say to somebody is just just work, work, work your ass off for it because um, I've been working for years, you know, and it's a slow process and uh, it's not – it's most certainly never going to happen overnight in most cases, but – um my thing i would say to anyone who's just out there and has a dream i would say just invest in yourself um put stake in yourself and and if you believe you could do it then you could do it and maybe that sounds cliche but it's it's really really true because um that's the most powerful thing and i think the most powerful tool you can have is just confidence and believing in yourself and that's very true as well too once again vince palmary here on the mike wagner show of albany new york with um the latest uh, album VP as well, too. A big thank you for your time. You've been fantastic. Looking forward to having you again soon. And once again, tell us about your upcoming projects, your website. How do people contact you? Where can people purchase or listen to your music? So um, all my music is available if you want to purchase it on iTunes, Google Play Store. It's all there. You could stream it on Spotify, YouTube, Apple Music, wherever. Um, and if you want to follow me, I'm on social media. Uh, Instagram is Vince Paul Mary Music. You could like my page on Facebook at Vince Paul Mary um, on Facebook and uh, VincePaulMary.com. You could check out my website as well. Fantastic, Vince. Again, a big thank you for your time. You've been fantastic. Looking forward to having you again soon. Do us a favor. Keep this up to date. Love you back on 2020 and beyond. You've been fantastic. Thanks, Mike. Thanks for having me. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers who are well-focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress, and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds, whether big, small, established, or startup, impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites. We give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Thanks for listening to The Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Please support our program with your donations at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again next time for another great episode of The Mike Wagner Show. 